following functions all have the set with elements 1, 2, 3, and 4 as both their domain and codomain. For each, determine whether it is only injective, only surjective, bijective, or neither injective nor surjective. For a quick review, a function is injective provided every element of the codomain is the image of at most one element from the domain. Injective functions do not have repeated elements from the codomain in the range, but may miss elements. And a function is surjective provided every element of the codomain is the image of at least one element from the domain. Surjective functions do not miss elements from the codomain in the range, but may have repeats. And a function is bijective if it is both injective and surjective. So looking at the first function, we want to focus on the second row, which gives us the outputs, and the codomain, which is the set with elements one, two, three, and four. So right away, notice all the elements in the codomain do not appear in the range, and therefore the function is not surjective, Surjective functions do not miss elements from the codomain in the range, but may have repeats. And the function is also not injective because injective functions do not have repeated elements from the codomain in the range, but may miss elements. So because the element of two from the codomain is repeated, the function is also not injective. Number one is neither injective nor surjective. Now looking at number two, notice all the elements from the codomain do appear in the range, and therefore the function is surjective. Surjective functions do not miss elements from the codomain in the range, but may have repeats. We don't have repeats, but every element in the codomain is in the range. And the given function is also injective because notice how we do not have repeated elements from the codomain in the range. Since number two is both surjective and injective, it is bijective. Bijective functions are functions where every element in the codomain is the image of exactly one element from the domain, which is what we have here. For number three and number four, we will go ahead and determine the two-line notation for the given functions. It's much easier to determine the type of function when we have the function in two-line notation. When x is equal to one, we have the absolute value of negative four, which is four. When x is equal to two, we have the absolute value of negative three, which is three. When x is equal to three, we have the absolute value of negative two, which is two. And when x is equal to four, we have the absolute value of negative one, which is one. So once again, notice how each element in the codomain does appear in the range and therefore the function is surjective. Surjective functions do not miss elements from the codomain in the range. We can also say every element in the codomain is an image of at least one element from the domain. None of the elements from the codomain are repeated in the range, and therefore the function is also injective. Or we can say it is injective because every element of the codomain is an image of at most one element from the domain. And once again, every element in the codomain is the image of exactly one element from the domain, and therefore number three is also bijective. And now let's write the two-line notation for number four. Where f of x equals x divided by two, if x is even, and f of x equals the quantity x plus one divided by two if x is odd. So when x is equal to two, we have two divided by two, or one. When x is equal to four, we have four divided by two, which is two. That takes care of the even values from the domain. And now for the odd values from the domain, when x is equal to one, notice how we have two divided by two, which is one. And when x is equal to three, we have three plus one, which is four. Four divided by two is two. In this case, notice all the elements from the codomain are not in the range and therefore the function is not surjective. Again, surjective functions do not miss elements from the codomain in the range. Or we can also say it's not surjective because every element of the codomain is not an image of at least one element from the domain. And the function is also not injective because notice how the elements of one and two from the codomain are repeated. Injective functions do not have repeated elements from the codomain in the range. Or we can say 
it's not injective because every element of the codomain is not an image of at most one element from the domain. So because the function is not injective and not surjective, we say it's neither injective nor surjective. I hope you found this helpful.